गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन वील टेक अ फ्यू मिनट्स टू पुट ऑन द स्लाइड मीन वाइल इफ एनीबडी हैज रिफ्लेक्शंस ऑन द ऑब्जर्वेशन असाइनमेंट्स दैट वी गेव येस्टडे यू कैन put forward your observations we'll just be putting the slides in a few minutes didi namaste didi what was the last line just said oh i'm sorry i was muted i was going on talking um we need to go forward on this ha uh... ah, yes didi uh, so... ha i'm sorry <laughs> yes didi uh this slide didi ऑब्जर्वेशन येस्टडे एंड यूड लाइक टू शेयर योर ऑब्जर्वेशन यू कैन टेक दम नाउ बेसिकली वी हैव टॉक येस्टडे अबाउट द एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू and how um, you know with the exercises we can observe ourselves we can observe the body and we can observe the world outside so since we are doing the exercises in detail anyway so in this these chapters 10 and 11 it was just a recap of that briefly so we did not spend too much time on it now um for the observation part because that is the one that we really need to do practically talking about observing is one thing but in fact observing by directly you know um, by yourself that is something else so um if you'd like to share your observations we can take those very good morning madam very good morning to all okay madam can i yeah. yes please uh, now please. now is it clear madam oh, very clear <laughs> thank you uh, madam thank you thank you all so yeah. uh, as usual uh, uh, i have been practicing i have been observing uh, may not be uh, very sincerely but to some extent i'm trying my level best in my observation the first point uh, in the assignment in the self reflection observe yourself and interaction with the body now check uh, by direct observation uh, the happiness mm. uh, self wants happiness every moment i observed because whatever i do i want happiness otherwise mm. it, it, it doesn't do actually uh, it wants it it wants suppose if it is not in happy uh, condition uh, it requires some other thing to be happy so every moment uh, the self uh, requires there is a need of happiness every moment but mm-hmm. if, suppose when i am hungry suppose if my mind or uh, I, i cannot say mind if uh, myself wants uh, food when i am hungry then i take food can you say if i want uh because mm-hmm. i am hung- hungry means uh, generally self wants na no, madam uh, body actually requires but the requirement is really by the self what i feel suppose when i the take food food yeah food uh, when it is uh, given uh, when i when it is full then that's all so body requirement uh, is temporary again it doesn't want anything again after some time when i feel hungry or uh, uh, um, suppose when i want some other food then only it uh, uh, requires body but mind continuously uh, uh needs happiness maybe through food or maybe through some other it requires whether it is correct or not uh, i don't know but it requires happiness continuously but for yeah, uh, body self, we can say i because otherwise it looks like self is something else i am something yeah, else yeah 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 i am i am i mean self means i yes madam yes so and, and the who, second who feels hungry body or self what do you uh, actually madam i to my opinion i feel hungry madam why because mm-hmm. suppose sometimes even though 
uh, my uh, stomach is uh, i uh, means what uh, empty suppose if i don't concentrate in it i don't feel hungry also mm -hmm. so, correct so uh, so i feel i uh, hungry i uh, so that's why i used it madam nice but but when the food is given when it is full uh, then mm -hmm. it doesn't require body mm -hmm. uh, but mind uh, suppose any delicious some other thing uh, uh, no, so food is over okay but i when uh, i want to see something so continuously it requires uh, happiness uh, number 2 uh, the recognition and fulfillment suppose when it uh, uh, suppose when i see something uh, immediately my eyes sees and uh, it will uh, fulfill but uh, uh, when i come to when it comes to myself or i i have some pre assumptions depending upon that uh, i treat that person suppose if my assumption is based on knowing uh, then i treat properly otherwise i will i am angry or some other some other feeling i have unless until i refer to natural acceptance my feeling is different completely so my assumption uh, my uh, recognition and fulfillment is completely dependent on my assuming and uh, maybe that assumption may be based on knowing or may not be knowing depending upon that only the recognition uh, is taking place uh, because the feeling is different what i observed but for a body just say that a little bit differently uh, when yeah. i when i have some assumption yes my feeling is based on the assumption that is correct okay it is always um not in line with natural acceptance we can't no, say that. it's no, not no, I, I cannot say like that sometimes it is in line then i feel uh, happy mm. sometimes i am unable to be in line with it uh, uh even though i know that i should not uh, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, because uh, maybe based on preconditioning or maybe based on uh, uh, senses uh, or whatever it may be i don't Able know to do meaning i don't have the competence right now yeah really really madam really yeah i have been observing yes and when and, when it comes to the body a uh, body is in no way related to all these things sir. just it wants takes food uh it is immediately it food is given for example it recognizes immediately it doesn't know whether it is uh, uh, supp suppose uh, if i take the food what i like it will take suppose if i take uh, 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 what i don't like also it will take so it doesn't uh, depend upon any uh, assumption what i feel uh, is my observation correct madam yeah when it comes to recognizing and fulfilling yeah so we can take an example like if like if you are taking the example of giving food to the body uh, for example yeah for example so the interaction between you know when we say recognition and fulfillment it is the interaction between two units no ha uh ha -huh, madam so that interaction in the hmm. case of the body is very definite a uh, definite definite so if something is harmful for the body it will harm the body yes if something is nurturing for the body it will nurture the body oh, really madam that part is very definite definite yeah i may make wrong choices based on my assumptions mm -hmm. see so yeah, if i assume that some plant is actually going to nurture the body mm. and i instruct the body to take it body will take it but if it is a poisonous plant mm. it will lead to poisoning in the body. Yeah, body. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that part is very definite. Body doesn't have a choice. Yes, this is what it is. Uh -huh. The recognition element is definite. Mm -hmm. This is an example of that. You can say. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Yeah. So the third one, the activities of uh, the self is uh, uh, the activities are continuous, and the activities of the body is uh, not continuous. What I have come to conclusion. Mm -hmm. so Any example is, you could. take uh, just like uh, this uh, food only just like uh, for example uh, 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 for example I, i feel hungry then only the body requires it whenever i want to uh, uh, suppose if i want to sense a particular thing if i want uh, to write something 
then my hand goes there and uh, take a pen and uh, that's all it's uh, work is over but uh, my, when it comes to myself uh, my uh, uh, that self or i uh, want some other paper is good or not uh, and whether it is correct or not like this uh, its activities are continuous no then this is this is activity still you are looking at expressing through the body ah uh, through the body okay but what you can see in the self mm -hmm. the activities in the self my feelings my thoughts my expectations these are going on continuously mm, yes yes madam if we did directly we tried to observe in exercise 1 isn't mm, it mm, mm, yes madam so we are trying to see this that the activities in the self they are going on all the time mm, mm. at no point will you find that there is no thought or mm. there is no feeling really madam something or the other we are always thinking we are always feeling Mm. these are activities within the self mm. so this we can see is continuous mm -hmm. when it comes to the activities of the body mm. so whatever activity you take in the body whether mm. it be process of digestion whether it be circulation whether it be breathing whether it be heart beat mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's not continuous it is mm. there is always a pause there is a break yes madam yes so even if the heart is beating it is mm. pumping blood it contracts all the way then there is a pause it stops contracting mm -hmm. then it starts relaxing so it the, the whole idea of this is to try to see that mm. all the activities in the body seem to be um sort of not uh, temporary i mean to say not continuous huh But Can I? Oh yes. The self, the activities within me are continuous. Yes, This yes, madam. The observation we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can I extend this to a little one more sentence, madam? Just a few seconds. Yes. Suppose if I take uh, the hot bath, suppose that uh, pumping and uh, lap dub like like that. Suppose if I consider it as continuous also. as long as the body is there until death it it can be considered as continuous but it dies after some time but it so is that, not continuous that's what i'm trying to say okay 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 i can that it is also it is not, not continuous. continuous lab dub is not one thing yeah you yeah you try to hear your heart beat you will hear it yeah yeah then there is a pause then there is dub okay okay madam that's because there is contraction up to a point mm -hmm. contraction stops then mm. relaxation starts mm -hmm. so yes. you will find in all the activities it is like this yeah yeah any activity it even not, digestion also uh, yeah 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 processes madam. are happening mm -hmm. then they stop then some other process may start mm -hmm. there is a pause there is a break can you explain the activity of brain madam just could you may please make me clear see in the brain um there are many one is the structure of the brain anatomically there are many structures mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then there are some chemical changes that can take place in the brain mm -hmm. now a lot of times we think at least you know in modern medicine or whatever is taught in medical schools colleges and all mm -hmm. that the brain is controlling everything mm -hmm. there we are not acknowledging the self mm -hmm. so in the self when there is some feeling some thought mm -hmm. it will have some you know impact on the brain mm -hmm. that impact can be in the form of some physiochemical changes mm -hmm. but if i am not aware of the self if i am not aware of the feelings and thoughts behind it, that mm -hmm. what i can measure mm -hmm. that you know the chemicals that are released mm -hmm. then i will naturally think that the brain is releasing these chemicals therefore this is happening in the body mm -hmm. isn't it yeah madam but we can keep it open madam and we can see that you know my feeling in this instant i can change it yeah yeah isn't it the moment i decide i want to have the right feeling 
I can have, I can choose to have the right feeling, right? Yes, 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 that is there. And then this leads to certain different changes in, mm -hmm. the, in terms of chemicals. Mm -hmm. So now what the brain does is when I have to give some instruction to the body, mm -hmm. that relay happens through the brain. Mm -hmm. So say I want to lift my hand. Mm -hmm. I give that instruction, it will lead to some physiochemical changes yeah. in the brain. Hmm? Because I am only having this as information in me that I want to raise my hand. Mm -hmm. But in the brain, this will be relayed in the form of some physiochemical change. Mm -hmm. And then through the nerves in the brain, it will lead to this movement in the arm, mm -hmm. whatever arm I want to lift. Yes, so madam. You try to see before you lift the arm, mm -hmm. you make that decision, left mm -hmm. arm or right arm, mm -hmm. left foot, right foot, whatever decision you make, mm -hmm. accordingly it happens in the body because you are relaying that, you are giving that information to the body mm -hmm. and then in the brain, this is visible in the form of if you do, you know, these days you can do MRI, you can do so many mm -hmm. cities uh, studies by which you can see the activity that is there in the brain. Some areas, you know, will light up when you have certain nuclear imaging. Mm -hmm. So you can see that this part of the brain has become active. But if we don't, if we are not aware of the self, we think this brain is only doing everything. Mm -hmm. But the self has some thoughts, some feelings, therefore this is happening, that part we can keep it open. Yes, yes, madam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you very much, madam. Thank you, very nice that you were able to observe a lot and uh, that you were able to share all this. Thank you, madam. Hear your sharing. Yes, thank you. Um, anybody else like to share their observations or whatever they could share or if there's any doubt about anything? Uh, good morning, madam. Good morning, all. Uh, actually, during uh, the 10 minutes uh, observation, uh, I experienced a uh, comfort with myself self, uh, uh, with the feelings and thoughts. But, um, uh, but my self experiences uh, some discomfort because of my body. But I found uh, the reason for that also. And uh, I used to think, uh, uh, actually, with the willpower, I can do uh, the things as I desire. So this is the, um, uh, this I used to have. But now, uh, madam, I realized that the body uh, needs rest and I have to take more care of my body. Uh, thank you, Didi. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, were you able to um, like see what is the need of the body? What is the need of the self? Yes. How the interaction is there? Yes. Huh? Yes, Didi. Everything I realized now only. Uh, then uh, I, and I, I have to take more care on my body and self also. Well, more care means I have to pay attention to the body also. I have to pay attention to the self also. Yeah, both, both, uh, madam, body and self. Because, um, for example, uh, in uh, daily, but, but my activities in my home as well as in uh, office, I have to do a lot and then I have to take more pain, uh, strain on my uh, body. The, that is at uh, this age of uh, my age of 50, I used to do more without a, any other helps uh, daily. Uh, that is uh, uh, in my daily routine. That when I, my, I observe that my self is somewhat satisfied, but my uh, body feels some um, uh, discomfort or uh, some pain. So I realize that what some pain, the self or the body, the body, the body. 
try to observe that the self thing. yeah the self experiences the discomfort because of the body okay the strain on my body yeah supposing at that moment you decide to um say somebody from your loved one is coming do you still yes. feel at that time no no this no matter yeah so the body is causing this or i am creating this based on no yes yes i am creating i am creating yeah so even pain you will notice that it is actually some sort of sensation in the body yes yes the word pain and i am yes. the one who is having the discomfort body you can say it goes into some disharmony yes, yes. but discomfort feeling comfortable uncomfortable this is you no know, in me it's as with self yeah so whether the body feels comfortable uncomfortable body wants body says all this we say but is it really true or is it that i am reading the signal the body is signal is there as part of its you know trying yes. to get back into harmony yes yes think, you know yeah yes this is some sort of alarm for me so not alarm i would say that you just pay attention to that also yes 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 madam yes madam and you arrange for it accordingly to give the body rest yes correctly yes all that i will do with understanding oh yes yes is this anything um, uh, that is will power will will power what is will power the When self I to do something i do it that is will power what do you mean by will power yeah will will power is nothing but the self feels uh, i can do anything i want that is my that, that is the will part means that i lack understanding because i can't do anything i want if i want to yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah madam now now i now i completely realized that ha uh-huh. there is no uh, uh, there is no uh, nothing uh, like will power no no i won't say that when i decide to do something yes if the body the instruction the body yes. will go ahead So yes. right now, if I give the instruction to the body to jump out of the, you know, eighth floor, yes. tenth floor, it will jump. Yes, yes. Even if the bones get broken, whatever it is. Yes. If I give that instruction, the body will follow. Yes. So, it is not up to the body; it is up to me. Okay. So okay. We. Have- Hmm. Yes, 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 madam. Uh, we have to program ourselves uh, according to our uh, to uh, self and body yourself. harmony. Why do you have to program yourself? You just need to understand yes. the way yes. they are. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Sure. The nature of the body. I will make the right utilization of the body. If I yes. understand things around me, if I see the way things are. Mm-hmm. i will act accordingly i will think accordingly no yeah and that glimpse i have through my natural acceptance yes yes to my natural acceptance yes i can um, you know uh, have the feeling according to that oh yes yes madam so try to directly observe yes don't go by whatever we have been hearing or you know words that we use what do, what do they mean so try to reflect on that try to see okay. that okay oh, okay ma'am okay madam thank you thank you so much. thank you thank you namaste ma'am and namaste to all uh, ma'am when i sit and observe for 10 minutes the interaction between the uh, body and the cell uh, i notice that uh, when i keep Hundred uh, percent attention to my body. Uh, the thoughts are uh, going on in the mind is very less, and uh, uh, till the time I didn't notice that uh, the pain in the my left shoulder. 
when i sit and observe i observe that uh, little pain pain in the shoulder okay just and wait for i can see. able one to moment. one moment so here uh-huh. Uh-huh. when you uh-huh. observe on in the body uh-huh. you were able to notice the pain in the shoulder does that shoulder. mean you are yeah. less uh uh yeah the, that is noticed by the self uh the, no, no, when no, i give that it. attention uh, what about your thoughts you mentioned the thoughts become less when do they become less uh means uh, whenever i am not giving attention to the body the uh, myself always thinking so many things uh when mm-hmm. i give that attention to the body only to the body like that the uh i am not flowing with the thoughts that i want to convey no so at that moment you are aware of the body but you can yeah. become aware that thoughts yeah. are also uh-huh. there the very fact that you observe pain aha uh-huh. aha uh-huh. that is a thought in you no no that there is pain uh-huh. in this part uh-huh. of the body mm mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. that is that is also a thought aha uh-huh. so you will notice mm. that the thoughts are there all the time not that the thoughts slow down when you are observing something mm. it is just that mm-hmm. you are focusing your attention on one thing therefore mm. you are not going into mm. random thoughts of other things but mm. thoughts are there mm. but thoughts are not mm. about say some other event or something that happened or somebody said something because right now your attention is focused on what you are observing in the body so now you have thoughts about the body but the thoughts are there mm. Mm. jumping there of the thoughts confident. like one to another mm-hmm. uh-huh. jumping not... of the thoughts uh, one to another that is not happened that uh, i notice ma'am what Us- usually when we are not uh, given attention to like one thing like body or something so the thoughts are jumping from one to another like a, so we thought something one moment and like that moment to moment the thoughts are changing so that kind of changes were not uh, noticed uh, okay, you as you said it's and uh, try to notice 10 minutes if you sit down <laughs> you try to notice something in the body mm-hmm. whether your thoughts are there all the time with that only or they still move here and there in those 10 minutes try to observe you will find they still go here and there mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when i hear something there that time the thoughts will be going uh, outside like that uh, uh, that's the uh, thought no uh-huh. so all this see mm. what happens is conflicting mm. thoughts may become less yeah uh-huh. yeah ma'am so we feel okay thoughts are not there thoughts are there thoughts mm. are there but the conflict mm. in the thoughts may be less when you are mm. paying attention to something in a focused mm. way no mm. so then uh, then that also we should observe mm. ultimately these thoughts are more subtle than the conflicting thoughts so first we are able to observe the conflicting thoughts now because we don't observe the conflicting thoughts we say there are no thoughts actually mm. there may be thoughts that we are not able to see right now they are little more subtle than the conflicting mm. thoughts so because i don't mm. see the conflicting thoughts i think there are no thoughts so keep that open try to observe huh yeah 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 hello mm-hmm. am i audible didi uh-huh. hello no you are audible yeah yeah namaste didi namaste sabhi ko uh, see what i observed is that uh, i don't know whether i am correct or not please correct me the needs of the self and the body are definite and limited this is what i am observing what is my land like there are many there are not many things that are required by the body mm-hmm. for example if i talk about food or anything whatever we do for the body mm-hmm. it is required only limited mm-hmm. definite and similarly for self 
it's not that we have to do so many things for the self it is limited i don't have to you know, do many things for the satisfaction of the self but we keep doing na all the time we are yes, doing that yes thing. yes we keep doing but the you know the i what what should i say uh, for example if i talk about food so there are many ha huh, now i can hear so not many things we need to do so there are only few things that we can do continuously but not many things are required to do for the self or for wait 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 what if you separate am i observing correctly no no wait let's look at it separate okay. yeah. when it comes to the body you want to give it food you are hungry body also you know has not taken any food for some time so the body also requires food yes right now you can see that the body requires food only from time to time not all the time yes yes and if you measure you can measure how much food the body generally requires that's how we buy a ration for the month and all how do yes, we do that yes. we decide some amount is required for the family and we buy that accordingly and keep it in the house isn't it yes yes so we are able to do that because this requirement is definite it is limited yes body you know once the stomach is full you can't keep feeding it it cannot work na no? yes yes for taste sometimes i keep eating yeah that is the self that has come in now but the body only requires how much it needs for filling the stomach body requires food that is nurturing for it but i may choose to have junk food and give that to the body body will take it but it will not be nurturing for the body so yes. you can see that body doesn't have too much choice in the matter and the body's requirements are limited you can measure them you can quantify them when it comes to the self now you want happiness and you want this happiness in continuity can you quantify this happiness no. either you are happy or you are not happy isn't it yes yes i do you have feeling of love or you don't have feeling of love either you have feeling of trust or you don't have feeling of trust there's no in between no yes and you can't quantify yes. you can't say this much of love no there is in the body in the case of the body you can say 1 kg of rice 2 kg of atta whatever it is you can quantify it. in the case of the self the needs of the self you can't really quantify them and you want them in continuity you ask yourself when do you want to be unhappy there's not a single moment that you want to be unhappy that need is continuous no yes it's not from time to time it is all the time you want to respect if somebody treats you with this respect even for a moment you remember it for years and you hold grudges for years why because it's not acceptable to you you want these feelings in continuity when you don't see when you don't have the understanding you try to get this from outside we are trying to do that all the time no for happiness we are doing so many things sometimes we are getting physical facility sometimes we are eating all the wrong things for taste sometimes we are trying to get the other person to say nice things about us we try to dress up so that we think that people will think well of me they will respect me all this we are doing why are we doing it because that need is there in us continuously for happiness and we are we don't have the understanding that that need can be fulfilled from within myself only 
i don't have to go outside for it if i have the right understanding with that right understanding i can have the right feeling right now right here and now regardless of whatever the state of the body is whatever the state of na the outside is and i can be in happiness so in fact this need of the self is fulfilled from within the self this point we had made earlier also we can try yes, to do yes. observe it yes yeah? when you have the right feeling you feel happy you feel calm you feel comfortable this is doable we decided that now who is deciding the feeling step 4 yes. exercise 1 so the needs of the self are definite needs of the self are continuous i will say okay ultimately we can say yes we want happiness and we want happiness in continuity but what is that happiness coming from that we are not sure therefore it looks like we have indefinite needs i want this i want that i want that hmm but in fact i want to be happy so i must understand how to be happy if i don't understand that it is with right understanding that i can have the right feeling then i keep trying to get this happiness from outside so it doesn't look limited it looks like very spread out i want this today i want that tomorrow i want something yes, else yes. yeah i i got a car and i felt okay sufficient tomorrow my neighbor got a bigger car now i also want a bigger car so it looks my needs are more and more but in fact if i can see this that ultimately why do i want i will come to that answer that i want to be happy and i want to be happy One. all the time but this understanding i need to have that this happiness all the time is possible only from within from outside you know things will last only temporarily and again i will be back to that wanting happiness from somewhere else no yes you can see. once i have the right understanding then the needs of the self will be definite the needs are yeah i'll be able to understand that you know this is there within me my yes, need okay. can be fulfilled from within me within yes okay. definite i would say whatever i need is already there within me but okay. i need to be able to understand it to feel okay no okay okay yeah. yeah yeah i will observe more yeah yes yes okay baby. thank you thank you so much we were discussing about these three things for self reflection in the homework and we can observe these now directly you can try to observe this yourself and your interaction with the body what is happening in the self what is happening in the body okay so nice we have been observing now if you would like to share your observations regarding this interaction between the self and the body and what is happening in the self and what is happening in the body what you could observe you can share it with us am i audible yes you are audible yes yes okay uh, regarding yesterday while i was uh, observing uh, and my thought was related to my brother actually he was affected by myeloma and he is getting cured uh, in a better way he is coming now but in between he met with a stroke and uh, after that uh, the thing is that for example if you are showing him uh, the scissors he will identify it as a needle or something like that or so it will be like that so Uh, yesterday that thought came to me so immediately uh, i was knowing that i am disturbed so i came out of that immediately purposely i took me out of that uh, thought and i went to some something else but i am knowing that 
some some heaviness is there in my being, in my uh, self, some kind of heaviness. So I thought of clearing it you uh, clearing it through you, Didi, as we are discussing about self and body. Actually, what is happening there? Whether his ident his brain is identifying it as or and uh, is reporting it as something else, or actually the thing is happening like that. Identifying it as a the scissor as a safety uh, pin or needle like that, or he is presenting it like that. A little bit clarity on that. There are two things. One is your curiosity yes. about what is happening in your brother's case. The other, which is more important for you, is what is causing you this heaviness? What you call? Now, if you ask yourself. Uh -huh. You had some thoughts and you were feeling uncomfortable, so you changed the thought. But those thoughts are still within you, isn't it? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, within again, me. Until you resolve the issue, they will keep surfacing. So it could be that you know, I am very attached to my brother, and I, you know, I have fear that. I may lose him or something like that. I don't know. You will have to see what was the discomfort. No. Sometimes it could be that just something like this can happen to me also. This is possible, or it could be something. You know that you are reminiscing the past and how he active he was, and now the state or whatever it may be that you will have to see for yourself. What? Why you had that discomfort? Because see, unless and until you face it or you become aware of it, you become conscious of it, it is lying there somewhere inside you, and it will surface again and again. Then it will become a cause for our unhappiness. No, uh, I am confident because doctors are telling that he will come up. He is getting better, like that and all. I am confident. Oh, that's not the point. Then I am uh, depending on the doctors, and I have some expectation. And if that expectation is uh, not met, again I will be unhappy. Uh, Point is, uh, uh, why am I in discomfort? Can I try to see that? What is bothering me? What is it that is troubling me? What are the relationship that now? That you have to see directly for yourself what it really is. Not what we have read. Just try to see for yourself why you are uncomfortable. What kind of thoughts were you having? What kind of feeling were you having? You will be able to get some clues. Maybe you know some preconditioning, something that uh, some sort of na, feelings of fear, anxiety. All of these will lead to discomfort. That we have to try to see within ourselves. That is one part. The other part, you know, mm -hmm. for the brother conditions, mm -hmm. there is a problem in the body, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And so, brain is also a part of the body. So there could be mm -hmm. many things that could be a problem with the brain. Therefore, even though the self is trying to convey something, mm -hmm. when there is a problem in the brain, that Conveying doesn't happen properly because the brain is damaged. Mm. No, so for different patients, it will be different reasons, mm. and so such problems can happen. The self may be okay; it may be fine. Mm. Self may not be having the issue, but the brain may be very damaged. Mm. It could be many things. So. That you know, one would have to look at every individual patient and see what the reason is. But these are some of the things that you know. More importantly, what is going on in you? You must try to observe that. Okay. Okay. So ultimately, uh, if I have to be in uh, time is up actually. a state of harmony, what I should do? <laughs> that really worrying. That really, I am thinking not. I am not at all worrying. We'll take up your question tomorrow.
and for the rest of us same assignment we'll try to observe very carefully what is happening in the self what is happening in the body so we'll stop here for now